Hey everybody, Common Villager here. Welcome back to another Imperial Galactic Survival tutorial video. Well, after building a base and building a vessel to explore and having a way to gather resources from other POIs that you might find in space, like Moon and stuff like that, you might find other POIs out here that you can salvage and you've got a lot of resources saved up and you've been kind of anxious to see if there's any other galaxies out there well there definitely are other galaxies yeah, of course in creative there's nothing but in the regular game there is a ton of galaxies out there you may want to consider getting a capital vessel. Now, of course, I'm going to be showing you how to build a capital vessel, and I do recommend building one in space because we're going to kind of get away from our small vessel. Of course, while you're building, you may want to be around your vessel that's holding all of your stuff because uh, building it in space will be a little bit easier you can work with it a little bit better especially if you're building in survival so we're going to need to go once again we're going to need to hit H and we're going to go to blocks we're going to get our let me go here real quick we're going to get our capital vessel starter block and real quick we'll just go ahead and put it down now basically a capital vessel is just a a big small vessel for the most part. Actually that's a little bit too close to that ship. Just uh, Since I'm in creative I'm going to come over here. And uh, we'll put one in here actually so that'll work so there's that now let's uh, get rid of that okay. I'm looking here I don't know why I can't look down but anyway I'm just I, I'm a bit uh, sorry I'm uh, things don't seem right but we'll keep going <laughs> I think it's just me but uh I do recommend uh, putting uh, some steel blocks on your capital vessel just to help protect your ship a little more so let's uh highlight the capital vessel icon we'll go to devices I do recommend you could use the small fuel tanks if you need to but as much as you've been playing the game at this point you could probably find these and POIs and take from them also these two so we'll grab our fuel tanks our oxygen tanks and let's see you're gonna want a a cockpit where now it's not like a regular cockpit we'll have to kind of make our own cockpit so let's see here that's a passenger seat but where is the cockpit here it is there we go and we will one of the essential things you'll need for your ship is a warp drive and you're going to also need a pentaxa tank to fuel your warp drive and RCS we may want at least some of them they're really expensive on CPU but you will probably want some we'll get some uh, some medium thrusters for the back now you can get really crazy with the thrusters but I will right, we'll have our medium thrusters and then our smaller thrusters wherever those are at let's see 
Where are you guys at? Oh, here you are, right here. We'll basically be using the small thrusters for this basic build. So, anyway. Where's that? I don't know why I can't fly around with it. I can't. <laughs> my character's doing something funny. So, let me just get out my drone. That'll be easier. This way. You can kind of access everything this way. So, uh... Of course, like I normally do, is uh, I'm going to take out the core, and we'll go ahead and take out these blocks like this. Actually, take that out and that out, and we're going to basically create a platform for our utilities. We'll start out by placing the warp drive down so we'll know how much room we've got to work with. Do be careful when working with this. It is radioactive, so in survival, if you're building like this, you will get radiation from it. So, so I don't know why I'm moving so funny. Anyway. Let's uh, get a block to here. Yeah. There's that. So let me, uh, let me get my drone out again because my character's being funny. I don't know what's going on. So you got your basic, uh, your most probably your most important block. And right here, we'll put right in front of it. Well, maybe not right in front of it. We'll put like uh, put right here. Our taxi tank to fuel our fuel our uh, warp drive. Excuse me. So there's that, and we could uh, you can do this any way you want, but I'm probably going to put some fuel tanks back here. Probably just by our warp drive. You you can make your warp drive separate if you want have it separate and probably put about good four of these uh, fuel tanks and I do recommend probably about four would probably be a good number for the oxygen tanks too so you have a good amount of uh, fuel and a good amount of oxygen for your ship in fact I recommend even more oxygen than that but this will work for now. So, I didn't even think to go into symmetry plane. I will here in a minute. But let's uh, kind of get back down here. And like that. So, real quick, like, I think I know what maybe I'm going to do something with it. Go here and go here. Get out of God mode. Oh no, I better not do that. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, I think it's because I don't have my jetpack on. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I can't look down. That's so crazy. It's weird. Anyway, get back down. Oh, our ship's way over there. <laughs> I don't know why my character can't look down for some reason. But anyway, I may have. Let me try getting out of God mode. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. But disabled. Right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it was God mode. So, let me get my jetpack on. There we go. Now I can move around. So, I don't know why God mode decided to do something funny. So, that's basically all I need. You do need some generators. I guess we could put them here in the back. We'll put some... Uh, more steel blocks down right here. Now, of course, this is going to be a very basic build. Real quick, like we'll go get into symmetry plane. Now, we'll put it right there. And that way, we'll be able to build side by side instead of having to place a block every single place. 
Now, like I've said already, you can build this any way you want, but this, I, what I'm basically building here is a a power room, I guess you could say, that has all your supplies, your fuel tanks, and everything. This is, of course, going to be a very basic uh, hover vessel. One thing I do recommend for your ship, I'm going to bring this out a little bit more, is putting a shield on it because you put a lot of resources into building these things and it would really suck to lose it just because you didn't have a shield. So let's see if we can find a shield. Also a gravity generator, which I did not think about. That way and we'll probably let's see, we probably find a place for it somewhere. How big is it? it is pretty big, isn't it? Okay. So a little bit more than I was thinking, but it's nice to have all these things and get more blocks out here. So it's a bigger bigger power room than I was thinking, but it it's uh it'll hold all our stuff. So let's see, we'll kinda get it in the closest to the middle as we can. Or we'll put it to one side, I guess. We don't need two of them, of course. But, uh, yeah, let me get off symmetry plane. That's what I forget about with that. So when placing these single blocks, we'll just kind of keep symmetry plane off. All right, and then let's uh, find us a shield. We're done with that. Okay, where are the shields? Okay. Uh, you got varying degrees of uh, shields. We're just going to go with uh, T1. Of course, when you get a lot of resources and want a, a better uh, shield, you can go with that. Now, you may have to use a CPU extender on this thing because, and I'll show you why here in a minute, but let's go ahead and we'll put our shield there. Also, you may want some generators for your ship because uh, you're not going to be able to power your ship up without them. You could use a small generator if you are limited on resources, but I do recommend at least the T1s. They're, they're really good. There's, there's an even better one, which is the T2s, but the T1s are pretty good, and they will... Uh, produce a lot more energy so we'll get our get those out and we'll put those uh, anywhere really we could like have let's see maybe like right here one on each side something like that well we'll just put them like that that'll work and that way you have yeah, I need a core. We can go ahead and put our core back here with the other stuff. So let's get our core out like that. So let's see, is there anywhere else? I guess we'll put it maybe right there. That should work. So there's our core anyway. So those generators will uh no, no, no will give us a good amount of uh, uh, power anyway. So there we go. There's that. So that's basically your power room, I guess you could say. So now that we're, we're going to be messing with some blocks, let me get some more uh, steel blocks, by the way. Um, yeah. Grab a couple of more stacks. So there's that. But what I was trying to say is you may eventually have to get a CP extender because we're already. I'll try to keep it under for this build if I can, but uh, you want essentially you want to put a, a good amount of resources in your cargo vessel. You don't have to be like super fancy and build like a big battle battleship or something, but I do recommend at least uh, doing it that way. So 
what we can do now is probably create an access point for this because this is all going to be walled in. So let's see here, we'll get our flux and we'll go ahead and start kind of building walls here, probably about that high. Like that, we'll have like a probably a little access point there. So I guess right here, what we could do, of course, we'll want to wall this up like so. Like that. Of course, I need to put symmetry plane on. Let me just go ahead and get this wall put up since I'm already at it. Already. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Come over like that. Let's see what happens if I get in GM again. I can move her a little bit faster in GM. Okay, yeah, everything's working right now. Yeah, there we go. Now I can move around faster. So we'll just wall in this thing like that. Actually, you know what? It would be... Yeah, it would be better to have an access point right here and then you could come in. And, so we'll wall this up for now like this just to protect it. So there's that. Just a basic... This is kind of like a core to the ship. All your stuff. So now I, you could put a hangar anywhere you want but we'll put a probably a hangar right here so you could put your ships and stuff we'll get a uh, hangar door you could have one if you wanted to I like to have one for each side of the ship so it's easy to get in and out let's see here Let's go here to our hangar doors. And the smallest size is this one. But I may do the next size up, maybe. Or how about maybe this one? Yeah, that'll work right there. That's a pretty good size one. We'll probably put it right there, like that. And uh, I keep forgetting to <laughs> put symmetry plane on. Let's see. I don't have to turn this around. I don't think that really matters. But two on each side. And real quick, we'll put symmetry plane back on like that. So while we're building, we'll have to keep switching out stuff. So, okay, there's that. And, of course, we'll build the blocks around it. Now, you can have all kinds of stuff. Just like in a base, you could have a farm. And you can make this hangar as big as you want. Like, say, if you got a pretty big, small vessel that needs to get in here, then you may want to build it a bit bigger. But this will essentially be your hangar bay. So we'll wall this up. And now we're going to have sort of a this is kind of up to you. I'm going to try to make this as uh, CPU efficient as I can. But I may have to extend the CPU. It, your first tier of CPU won't be really hard to get for your capital vessel. So I'm going to come out here, probably right about here. Put another floor down like that. And now we're going to have a place. So we kind of imagine here. I don't know why, but I got into that. Is it because I didn't have that on? I don't know. It's weird. Okay, there we go. Never mind. So, uh, you can do this either way you want. You could have uh, a, just a single door here. Just wherever. I guess uh, I kind of like having more access points. So we'll put... We'll have two doorways there going in. And you could... have whatever you want, but I'm going to 
We can take symmetry, symmetry plane off for now, so we can uh, kind of imagine a little bit. So let's see here. I'm turn on my light so we can see a little better in here. All right. So let's actually real quick. We'll turn it back on and we'll uh, kind of. Put some walls here. Well, I. Yeah, there we go. That way we can kind of uh, mess with some stuff here. So we've got all our. We've got our utility room here, or whatever, the power room. It's got our shield, gravity generator. I do recommend having all these components you don't have to if you don't want to and it's not required but it's nice to have uh, some uh, stuff like that also I may put in here real quick which I didn't think about an ammo box Actually, we don't have to have the ammo box there, but it is nice to have it somewhere where it's protected, sort of. So, yeah, we'll do that. Get that out. We'll put, like, uh, one ammo box should do. How much CPU does this use, actually? Let me find out. Okay, 240, so not bad. You could put maybe one on each side to have plenty of... Uh, room for ammo. You may want to have a few turrets on this ship just to protect it from enemy fire. So, anyway. Let's uh, come in here now. And you may want some essentials like some constructors depending on how fancy you want. A large const advanced constructor is nice, but it costs 40,000 CPU, whereas a large constructor only costs 20,000. But then, if you want to go cheaper than that, I'm just going to put a large constructor because it, it you can it's just that's a lot better. <laughs> I mean, than your like small constructor so let's say we'll uh, put a constructor here and probably put it we won't be using a container controller controller for this but uh, we'll put uh, some cargo boxes wherever they are I'm moving around too fast and not paying attention Let me find them. They're somewhere around here. There they are. They're down here at the bottom. Okay, there we go. There's that. And then we can, uh, we could have, this is how I like to do it anyway. Have a cargo box. I like to have them sitting up tall like that. One on each side. Like that. We have your place where you can put some, uh, materials in. And then have it like a little out output uh, thing for your constructor. And then you could also have like some extra storage in here. Like have a couple more cargo boxes right there if you need more storage. So there's that. And then it's nice to have a place to put your food. So we'll get uh, probably just a... Let's see, where's the fridges? Fridges, there you are. You could also put uh, medical devices. Um, these don't actually go against your uh, uh, CPU, so we could. I'll get to that here in a second. I'll go ahead and get them out. But uh, let's see. Since we're. We're going that route. Let's uh, let's see here. 
we've got our constructing area. I guess right over here, since we got a little bit of room here, we could put uh, a couple of fridges here. We can have an input and an output, and you can put as many there as you want for food storage. And also, if you wanted to, we'll go ahead and add a. Uh, it does cost a little bit of CPU, but it's not much. Put a uh, food processor in food processor <laughs> in here, and kind of make it like that. And over here. So we've got a place to make make items. We can uh, cook us something to eat. And also, since it would be really nice to have, we'll go ahead and, and uh, have an O2 station, probably an armor locker. Where are they at? Armor locker. Pay attention, pay attention. Where are you at? somewhere yeah. dang it okay right there <laughs> of course yeah there we go anyway we'll put an armor locker there and we can put an O2 station right next to it Right there and of course like I said this is just a you can build this as fancy as you want but this is just a basic build showing you how to get things going so there's that and now let's get our medical devices actually let's close that we can access that and we can have since these don't use CPU we can have four uh, Four of these, right? Our basic one to refill our health, and then there's, uh, oh yeah, five different ones. So we could have, and you may have to have a little more room for this, but we'll go ahead. We'll have this one, and then the next one, and then we'll have this one, which will require a little bit more room, and then we'll have this one just in case you're like in an alien POI and you get something really bad well you'll have a full medical suite to come in and this will take care of any problem you have so there we go so that's basically it I want to go back to my utility room my power room whatever you want to call it and we will uh, I want to add some other things that I did not think about at the time we're going to want to put a wireless connection just in case you want to connect to your base. So let's put that down in here somewhere. I guess we could put it over here like that. And also another handy one to have. It does cost a little bit of CPU, but I mean, you, you're going to want a detector if you're exploring in a capital vessel. Or you could just use your other vessels if you want, up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and put a detector right there for that. Get that already squared out of the way. Let's go ahead now and put some uh, automatic doors in. No, not don't have to have the armored ones. We'll just use the basic ones, which are. Should be somewhere around here. Ah, uh, stuff is so mixed up. Here it is. Sorry. There we go. So we'll go ahead and put our automatic doors, and I don't really want that there. Right there, and then we'll put some over here, like that. And that way, we come in and, uh, well. Now we could go ahead and uh, at least fuel it for the interior stuff. And we could turn the power on. And come in here and it's... Well... Oh wait, do I not have... Oh, right, there we go. There we go, there we go. That's all on. And now these will work like they're supposed to... So we have our full medical bay here. 
And let's see, what else would be handy to have? Let's see, how are we doing on CPU? I can already tell. We'll probably have to put a CPU extender on this thing, but I do recommend building a decent capital vessel. If you're going to go through the trouble of building one, I do recommend having a lot of uh, essential stuff on it. So we'll go ahead and put a CPU extender down, which will cost a, uh, a decent amount of resources, but by the time you've done a lot of exploring in space and everything, you should have enough resources to at least build one CPU extender, which will bring the limit up to 500,000, which is pretty handy. So there's that. And now we're going to build the cockpit of the ship. So let's see here. Gonna come over here like this and get a cockpit ready. Oh, we already got it ready, don't we? Right there. We need our steel blocks. Let's get a bigger stack. So, once again, we'll get our symmetry plane. And we're gonna come in here and try to build it out to here, maybe. Maybe like that. All right, and let's see. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and build up here. Kind of like that. And we'll go ahead and put our cockpit down. There's different options, I think, of uh, where you want to go on this. Am I facing the right way, by the way? Yeah, I am. Pretty sure I am. So, you could have that one, or there's different ones. I kind of like the ones with the like the LCD panels on it because it kind of looks like you're uh, you can't really see them but anyway and if you go down you can back, like like hit the alt key you can kind of look around like you're looking at your displays and stuff and seeing what's going on just nothing really important but it's kind of neat to have so let's go ahead and build the walls for this thing We'll uh, we'll go ahead and build the walls, but we're also going to want to uh, put some glass up because we don't want to. We're going to want to be able to see. <laughs> so, but we'll go ahead and uh, just wall this up real quick. Like now, like I said, this is just a very basic hover vessel build. You can build them really fancy. So. Let's go to our creative menu, go to blocks, we'll get some large windows. There we go. We'll put those there. And let's see here, we'll we don't have to have we well, don't have to see everywhere everything, but I'm probably gonna start right here. Taking out these steel blocks. So I do like to have a, a lot of room to see what's going on and everything. Just because I, I kind of like the, the way... I just like it. <laughs> Being able to see out. And of course, you know, you could... Uh, even like once you get the roof on this thing right here... You could put in... We'll, we'll put in some different stuff here and there. But anyway... There's that. Let's see... Is that the wrong one? Oh, okay. There we go. There it is. So, let's, uh, no. That down. Yeah, there we go. That's being funny on me. There we go. There we go. 
like that. And oh right, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 I see. So we may have to put some blocks here and there, which is not a big deal. Okay, so we may have to... Ooh, okay, I may have to come out a little bit with this. Yeah, we'll have to... Let me get rid of these real quick. Because, uh... I didn't think about that. All right, so let's uh, put them on the outside right here, and we may just uh, let's see. There you are. Maybe about right there, and build them. Jeez, not like that. <laughs> Probably about there. Yeah. There we go, and then we can now probably a bigger cockpit than it's really needed, but whatever. This is just for to demonstrate. No. Well, we'll use we'll use these round vertical ones just to, for now. You can get really intricate with the design of your cockpit, of course, but for now we're just going to use this. There we go, and we'll have to change this, of course, to make it look decent. Like that, to make it kind of flow in like that, and we'll have to put one there, and let's see. There's that. Yeah, there we go. So there's our cockpit. Let's go ahead and fill in right here. Go ahead and fill in the roof now. Ah, come on now. You gotta pay attention here. There's that. Come on, there we go. And of course, you know, you could uh, have like a, you could put some like glass up here if you wanted to, just so you could have, you could kind of look up and see space a little bit. Kind uh, of do it like this, maybe. Yeah, put some glass up here. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. And just uh, like that and like that. And that way you could kind of, while you're in here, you could kind of see, kind of see out, see the moon and stuff or whatever, see planets or whatever. Just to like a nice little window there if you wanted. Okay, let's uh, put this one in. So this is basically just a box, <laughs> but you could mess with it all you want. But for the sake of the time, I'm not going to do that. So there's that. So we've got everything. Now we need some thrusters because without thrusters, this thing is not going to go. <laughs> so. We'll need, of course, all our different ones. We'll need some reverse thrusters. So we'll put some right here, like that. We'll put one there, put one there. And we'll put a few sideway ones on. I don't recommend putting them anywhere near your, like, your constructing area. We could probably put them here at the bottom of the ship. In different places where it's not gonna really matter so much we'll put some over here by the door maybe right here actually yeah maybe like right here you just don't want them too close 
to your any area where like your uh, your constructing area and everything because these thrusters get super hot and you can burn you can get really hot and overheat yourself really quick so let's see there's that we'll put one more maybe like right here you know whatever and on the bottom we'll go ahead and put our lift thrusters we're going to want a decent amount of those let's see here we'll probably for the lift thrusters we'll probably put them like right here and then kind of uh, we'll put them at different intervals like maybe some here and then we'll have like a maybe right here in the middle we'll put some more in like that and come over here closer to the front of the ship where we'll have a couple more my controls are kind of funny because I'm on the underside of the ship so there we go there's our lift thrusters and of course it would be probably a good idea to have some downward thrusters we don't need very many of these but just enough to kind of bring the ship down we could probably just put uh, some in each corner here like that and we'll put some over here in this corner it won't require much to go down so we'll just do that then and I do recommend putting some medium thrusters for the back kind of like on the small vessel we had we'll just put these on the outside uh, probably four would be good I'm gonna put six on this one so how are we doing on CPU CPU is going up but uh, it's nice to have a lot of thrust and power. We may not need that much though. It can really get expensive on these ships so it's, uh, we'll just do four and that way we've got a little bit more CPU to work with. So now uh, I do like to put uh, at least a few RCS's in. We don't need very many but you got to be careful because they do require a lot of CPU, 75,000 so I may put just a couple in the front and we'll see how that will work so let's uh, come over here I may put them here in the bottom if I can get away with it kinda next to the thruster here and of course you can come in and probably fill in this bottom with blocks probably be a good idea also you may want to uh, see how much CPU do we have left here we don't have much but it would be nice to have some turrets how much do turrets cost 2500 CPU so how much do we got left okay we got enough to put some turrets down so let me get my turrets out and of course we'll put like uh, we'll probably put a we could probably afford to put six on we'll put like mm, I'd rather have them well cockpit's not gonna matter too much maybe we'll put we'll we'll put one here and then we'll put let's say we'll put probably I would say five would probably be enough just to uh, have some protection and we're not over CPU which is good so let's uh, finally get in this thing and uh, pilot it and let's uh, let me take it off the symmetry plane so there we go let's uh, okay in I hit the all key real quick wait no move out a little bit so you can see your ship while you're moving around and now now depending on how much you want to put into it you can put more RCS's on it but uh, you'd have to get a bigger CPU and real quick like let me uh, 
Let's see. I don't have any. Yeah, there we go. There's the Pentaxid. Let's see if we could, if there's any other planets in creative we can lock on to. I don't think there is. I think there's just, there used to be another one you could uh, lock on to, but uh, there you go. There's our uh, ship all ready to go. It's, uh, you know, not the best in the world. It's kind of a, just a quick build. I can show you one that I built. Real quick, like, I'm gonna go to F2 and go to this one, the Spectre, which is one I built. Uh, uh, quite a while ago, but it's uh, kind of got the same design as this one does. It's a real dinosaur ship, trust me. This is when I very first started building uh, <laughs> ships and stuff. It has your container, and, you know, your nice stuff in here and then you got your you got your constructor room and then you've got your medical bay once you get in you got your hangar bay and stuff so yeah all that stuff but they're not they're fun to build for sure you just want to make sure you have enough resources to put in them uh, and be able to protect them and of course if you wanted to I'm not going to do it here but I could hit uh, right alt key and hit O key to save it to your blueprints if you wanted to so you in case it gets destroyed and you want to bring it back in but that's going to be it for this episode y'all i hope you've been enjoying this series i hope i've been able to teach you a few things about building an imperion so anyway i'm going to end the episode here thank you so much for watching if you like this video and want to support the channel go ahead and click subscribe i do love every view i get guys so i do Hope you all have a good one, and I do hope to see you all in the next video.